The Regency-era romance Bridgerton was one of the biggest hits of 2020 on Netflix. Not only did it exceed the platform's original viewership projections, it completely knocked them out of the park. Turns out people really loved the whole Gossip Girl meets Downton Abbey vibe of the show, even Julia Quinn. Despite practically creating all the characters herself, Quinn learned a thing or two about them from the TV adaptation. Let's find out how Netflix managed to surprise the writer behind the series. First up, Julia Quinn's Changed Perceptions. Recently, the author reached out to Nicola Coughlin, who you might know as Penelope Featherington. In an Instagram post, Quinn wrote a touching message to the actress, sharing just how much she learned about the character through Coughlin's acting. All the characters that we've grown to love on screen would be nothing without the actors behind them, and Julia Quinn gets that. She might have created the character, but she admits that Nicola brought Penelope to life. I thought I knew who she was inside and out, but then at Nicola Coughlin came along and made her into something even more read the Instagram caption. Quinn gave Nicola the entire credit for doing such a delightful job with the Featherington daughter's character and straight out thanked her for turning Penelope into something more special, more three-dimensional, and, well, more Penelope. Now that's what you call high praise. Fans might not be able to decide on their favorite character from the show, but it seems like Quinn has no trouble picking out her favorite. Of all the characters I've created, no one has connected with readers quite like Penelope Featherington, read the writer's caption. Quinn believes that she is one of the most relatable characters, not only for the fans, but for herself, too. According to the writer, everyone seems to see a piece of her in inside themselves, myself included. Next, we have Nicola Coughlin's response. The actress was quick to respond to the author's comments, giving us a perfectly wholesome moment. Oh, Julia, this is so unbelievably sweet of you to say, said Coughlin. She expressed how it has been an absolute honor playing the character of Penelope. I hope I continue to do you and her proud, XXX. Fans, of course, loved this sweet little exchange between the two. Speaking of Penelope, there are some interesting fan theories going around about her and Colin in Bridgerton Season 2. Next, Penelope and Colin. What do the fan theories say? If you've read the Bridgerton novels, you would know that Penelope and Colin don't officially get together until the fourth book, but fan theories suggest it could be a whole lot sooner in the series. Before you get your hopes up, we must warn you it's just a theory right now. But fans believe that the showrunners will fast-track their relationship, maybe even through season three of the show. Apparently, viewers just don't believe that Netflix will drag out romance after romance for the Bridgerton family brothers. Even though the series is insanely popular right now, fans just don't think it's the platform's M.O. Make all these different seasons of a show. One of the reasons behind this fast-tracked theory is that they don't seem to believe believe the showrunners can stretch Penelope and Colin's plotline until season four. We can't argue there. Not even Bridgerton can work with longing glances for that long. Audiences are bound to get tired of waiting. But how exactly will the showrunners make Colin fall for Penelope as they crunch the book timeline? For those of you who haven't caught up with the books yet, it took him about a decade to finally fall for Penelope. Well, according to the fan theories, it has something to do with the mysterious heir of the Featherington estate. Remember, the head of the family, Baron Featherington, was killed back in season one. Now, because of his untimely death and gambling problem, a very removed relative from the Featherington family will make an appearance as the heir. It's likely that he'd want to get all three daughters married off as soon as possible to get them off his back. The news of Penelope's looming marriage just just might trigger Colin enough to realize his true feelings for her and speed up the process of him falling for her. And if that's true, then the upcoming season won't just feature Anthony's love story. It would also set things up for a Colin Penelope wedding in season three. Could the fan theories be true? It's still too early to tell. Season two won't premiere until March 2022, so we have no way of being certain just how things will work out. 
out. But we can tell you that the fan theories are very much plausible. In Julia Quinn's novels, Baron Featherington doesn't even make an appearance. The matriarch of the family, Portia Featherington is already a widow. Netflix specifically wrote Mr. Featherington's character in the show for a reason, and fans believe that it was to play with the character arcs differently from the books. His death in season one will possibly set the stage for a lot of changes in the Featherington household. However, series creator Chris Van Dusen hasn't denied the possibility of an eight-season run of Bridgerton. In that case, shortening and cramping the novel's storylines wouldn't be necessary. We might not have the entire Bridgerton saga to look forward to right now, but we do have two more confirmed seasons of the show after season two. What will season three of Bridgerton be about? If the showrunners decide to stick to the pattern they've created for the show so far, then season three will likely follow the third book from Julia Quinn's series, An Offer from a Gentleman. This is where Benedict Bridgerton, played by Luke Thompson, takes center stage. We hope you're ready for some serious Cinderella vibes, because that's exactly what season three will bring. The third Quinn book follows the Bridgerton brother as he falls for Sophie Beckett, who just so happens to be an Earl's daughter forced into servitude by, you guessed it, it right, her vile and hateful stepmother. The showrunners haven't released any official details about the plot of the third season, but they did let us in on a juicy little update. Hold on to your hearts, because Reggae Jean Page will be making a comeback. After completing his character arc and his one-season commitment to the show, the Duke of Hastings left the series. But in a recent interview, the actor revealed that he might be open to a cameo down the road. However, it's still not clear how the showrunners will explain Simon's season-long absence on his return in the newer seasons. But it might not be that difficult, since each season focuses on different characters. We sure hope they work something out. What will season four focus on? If the new showrunner for seasons three and four, Jesse Brownwell, doesn't rush the romance of Penelope and Colin, then it's likely that season four of the show will follow the Quinn novel Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. This season is supposed to take place 11 years after season one. During this time, Colin has been busy traveling the world, while Penelope has become her own woman. Her wardrobe and her actions are no longer controlled by her mother. So what'll happen when both the friends meet again? And not as teens on the marriage market, but as full-grown adults. Is it then Colin will realize his true feelings for her? We'll just have to wait for season four to be sure. Some of the plot twists from book four of the series have already been revealed in season one one of the show. Lady Whistledown's true identity, for example, book readers had to wait through four novels for that revelation, so season four might not be an exact adaptation of the novels. What to expect from season two? The first official teaser trailer for the latest season was released on Valentine's Day, of course. Bridgerton will have all the lavish ballroom scenes you could ever hope for. It will also be bringing back the timeless Julie Andrews as the voice of Lady Whistledown. But what stood out the most in the teaser trailer were the longing glances exchanged between the eldest Bridgerton son and the newest addition to town, Kate Sharma. Jonathan Bailey, the actor behind Anthony Bridgerton, gave us a little bit of insight on what to expect from season two. He revealed that the Bridgerton world is only going to get more pronounced. According to him, it's going to be mad and it's going to be brilliant. While he didn't get much into details about his role specifically, he did mention that there are going to be a lot of brilliant characters introduced in the series, and there will be loads of Easter eggs for all the characters. When will we finally get season two? After so many delays because of the pandemic and constant rescheduling, we can finally enjoy the Regal Balls from March 25th, 2022 on Netflix. The premiere date was announced on the streaming platform's official Instagram account and included appearances from some of the cast members, including Jonathan Bailey, Simone Ashley, Ajoa Ando, Golda Rochevel, and 
and Luke Newton, so it's all pretty official now. Since the production wrapped up in November, there won't be any more rescheduling or delays, thankfully. What are you looking forward to at the latest promenade? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.